Hey all, this is Micro. This is a video that will help you survive OPR so that you can have more time actually playing the OPR and less time running back from respawn. We're going to be doing this by kind of playing with elemental aversion and physical aversion, depending on if we're a ranged player or a more melee player, in order to maximize the amount of resistance we have to fire damage, thrust damage, and a little bit of melee damage for light melees that are running rampant, more so in OPRs recently. So hopping right into this, in terms of if you're a, a melee, tank, bruiser, IGVG, void blade, any kind of like role that plays in the brawl aspect, I would recommend going 5 elemental aversion with 15% physical ward, 5% elemental ward with a fire amulet. What this will allow you to do is will give you 47% ward to fire, which is the main source of damage in OPRs. 31% to general elemental damage, so if someone was throwing a grab at you, the grab would do 31% less. If someone's dropping ice storm on you, that would not be the case though, and that would be a 5% ward to ice, because elemental version doesn't seem to work versus most ice gauntlet abilities. But it will allow you to be pretty safe to most elemental abilities, and then this will also give you an 18% ward to physical effectively which will be good versus the melees and good versus bows, but bows and melees from a melee perspective tend, can tend to be avoided a little bit more since they don't do AoEs as much in terms of bows. So by them not doing AoEs as much, we can kind of play around our positioning more. Hug walls make it really hard for them to hit you. And when you go for actual individual combat, they're less likely to hit you because they have to be hitting you as a single target rather than with AoEs like Fire Staff will. You can tune with those numbers a little bit and say run a thrust amulet if you're really worried about bows, but in general I think this is a pretty safe way to, to ward, to ward against everything. In terms of what ult you should be thinking about, healing stone forms a really good solo queue ult because that's just a way to live without a healer consistently. Cleansing firestorm, which is the stalwart one, or cunning bile are also very decent from an OPR perspective because you can kind of either bleed people out with those, give you more empower so that you can kind of get the final kills on people, or just live in general. And the main thing with OPR is just being able to live versus the onslaught of range, and if you live, you tend to just win if you're a, a melee-oriented player, but the hard part is actually living the onslaught of 20 fire staffs that are aiming right at you, and this will help you survive that. In terms of if you're a ranged player, you're mostly looking to ward against other ranged and then use light mobility in order to kite melee. With this setup, I would recommend 5 physical aversion, 10% physical ward, with 24% fire ward with a slash amulet. So that will be approximately like 4 rubies, 4 onyxes, and then the slash amulet will just kind of give balance to the build as a whole. I want to say the slash amulet right now because there have been more light melees that have been rampant that are trying to assassinate healers and this will help tech against them but there are ways to run other amulets if you're really worried about a specific type but in terms of what this setup will give you it will give you 39% ward to thrust, 25% ward to physical melee, 31% ward to fire and then if you go with thrust amulet that will give you 56% thrust but it will reduce the other aspects, and if you go fire amulet, then you'll get 52% fire ward. So it's kind of a preference there. I prefer the slash amulet because it gives a good balance. 39% to thrust, 25% to physical melee, and 31% to fire is not bad at all. And will just kind of help you live versus everything in general, and will just be a, a good balance in order to live versus doing something like 50 thrust ward, which yes, that will help you live a lot better versus the thrust, but then you'll just be countered by other aspects. This will give you like a decent balance so that you're around 30% to 40% warded to everything that could hit you, and that will just kind of allow you to live more and provide more value from a bow, a healer, or fire staff perspective. If you are playing Muscate, this wouldn't be a bad setup too. I'd probably drop the slash amulet though and would prioritize thrust and fire absorption more. At the end of the day, you are looking to counter the things that kill you the most though, and you should should tune with your gems to what you're seeing in OPR. So if you're seeing more bows, throw throw on some more thrusts. Maybe consider physical aversion. If you're seeing more fire staffs, maybe go elemental aversion. Try to do more fire ward. The main reason why I say physical aversion for range is because it just tends to do a little bit better off versus bows than it is versus fire. Because the way a physical aversion works is it kind of counteracts in power 
and bows tend to have a little bit less in power than a fire staff, so physical version inherently will get more value than an elemental version in most cases. From a bruiser perspective, you can really you can avoid the physical attacks, but you can't really avoid the ranged attacks. From a ranged perspective, it's sort of the opposite, where the fire staff attacks are a little bit slower, you can kind of see them coming, you can dodge them a little bit better, and people tend to not throw fire staff attacks at range, so I think this will get a, a good balance in, or, in order to live versus everything. In terms of what alt you should be thinking about if you're a ranged player, healing stone form again is a really good ultimate in OPR, especially if you're solo queue, just to help you live versus things. Bile is a good ultimate, Firestorm is a good ultimate, either the haste or the cleansing one, and cannon's also a very underrated ultimate. Cannon actually does strike damage, which is something that people tend to not ward versus, so it can kind of catch people off guard and really delete people, especially with a lot of people going elemental version right now cutting their physical aversion which makes them susceptible to getting one shot by cannons combos in terms of if you're light i would recommend not prioritizing any new fortify on your actual gear itself me or on your weapon tree if you're medium you could take some of them but you shouldn't prioritize it and then if you're in heavy new fortify is fine but it's still not as good as the version is uh in terms of the thresholds that you need to overcome in order to have these new fortifies be worth it in light you need to get above 9.5% war or 9.5 percent new fortify in order for it to out benefit invigorated punishment and even then it will be a very very small amount which is why i say not to prioritize that setup overall and you should try to prioritize other gear if you are like a healer and you drop sacred ground on yourself you won't actually increase the damage you take but you net will be net neutral and that's just not something that you want to be in a lot and medium this is this threshold is six percent and heavy the threshold is five percent and with heavy sns the threshold is 4.8 percent you basically just need to get above these thresholds for fortify to be worth it in general with the New patch has gone out, but that is a little bit tricky to do at times. And I'll catch you guys in OPRs.